हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी आर आउट इन द नेचर वन सेकेंड ओके आई एम कैचिंग द कैमरा सो इट विल बी अ बिट शेकी प्लीज टॉलरेट इट ओके एंड वी हैव फिनिश्ड द डिस्कशन ऑन द डिग्निटी ऑफ द प्लैनेट्स of how do they perform when they are placed in their own signs in their exaltations and debilitations and in their friends and enemy signs yes and we have not discussed so much about rahu ketu so this is a short video on rahu ketu regarding the performance of their uh inner how do they perform internally and externally when they are placed in different signs so as i had told you earlier rahu does excellent in which signs yes rahu does excellent in the earth signs and in the which is the other sign of money <laughs> it is air sign okay see rahu is considered to be a friend of mercury venus and saturn okay which all these three represent mundane world okay venus represents happiness comforts mercury represents money and saturn represents the sorrows pains miseries okay and labor 10th house of labor is saturn right so rahu because he is the planet of material uh, gains and prosperity not prosperity exactly that is more of jupiter and venus but rahu is obsession kind of not that which you want at any cost so because of his this obsession about material things who do you expect to be friends with who do you expect rahu to be comfortable with rahu is most comfortable with venus mercury and saturn okay <clears throat> so it will undoubtedly be very comfortable in their signs yes so rahu finds its exaltation in the sign of gemini okay what is gemini gemini is the third house of the zodiac it is the house of desire third house is known as the mithuna bhava okay mithuna is the rashi and third house is actually the house of desire okay third house is the house which motivates us to go ahead with something that we want in this life okay if the third house is not there you will not feel like doing anything okay it is not fire but it is more of that desire of the soul okay to want to get something in life to do something big that is why whenever sun will transit your third house from the lagna the ascendant you will find that those those 30 days okay that one month <coughs> you will find you are extremely courageous you will be like i can do whatever i want this world is mine okay so rahu does fabulous in the sign of gemini and also it does fabulous in the sign of taurus because taurus is the sign of hoarding no capturing assets wealth luxury property the mundane things in life basically okay and rahu does excellent in the nakshatras of rohini especially okay because rohini is all about showbiz fashion and so on. so we'll discuss about nakshatras and rohini later but rohini comes in taurus in between of taurus okay every constellation uh, sorry every zodiac is divided into three parts and there are three nakshatras which give the flavor of the zodiac okay about which we will discuss later but as of now i am just saying <coughs> and inside gemini rahu's own nakshatra is there which is the nakshatra of rahu it is ardhra nakshatra okay the nakshatra which is in the middle part of gemini that is ardhra and ardhra represents electronics lightning etc 
सो दैट इज वाई राहू इज एक्सट्रीमली पावरफुल इन द नक्षत्र ऑफ आरदरा एंड वाई राहू गेट्स एक्सॉल्टेड इन जेमिनी इज बिकॉज थर्ड हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन ऑल्सो सो इफ यू कैन नो हाउ टू टॉक प्रॉपरली यू कैन गेट एनी थिंग डन इन दिस वर्ल्ड येस नॉट एवरी थिंग मे बी बट मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स कैन बी डन इफ यू नो द ट्रिक्स हाउ टू टॉक एंड हाउ टू डील विथ पीपल एंड हाउ टू गेट योर जॉब डन देन एनी थिंग इज पॉसिबल इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओके दैट्स वॉट राहू इज टेलिंग यू सो टेक केयर ऑफ जेमिन आई वेर एवर जेमिन आई इज फॉलोइंग यू कैन डू ट्रिमेंडस प्रोग्रेस देयर इफ राहू इज हैविंग लिंकेज विद मर्क्यूरी और विथ दैट हाउस वेर जेमिन आई इज इन योर हॉरोस्कोप ओके एंड इफ राहू इज सिटिंग देयर इट्स एक्सीलेंट एंड दीज पीपल आर एक्सीलेंट इन इन द एरियाज ऑफ मार्केटिंग they can do they can find different ways to innovate and sell their products okay they can also find different ways by which they can uh go and convince people A third house is also your ability to convince others okay that is more of fifth house but third house also has a role third house is how you begin and fifth house is where you end okay so these people can convince you very powerfully okay so that's it about rahu we'll discuss more about rahu's placement in different houses later but now i'm just giving a rough dignity of rahu ketu and then ketu does excellent in the other signs which are the fire signs and the water signs okay because fire signs represent religion and water sign represents spirituality now what's the difference between the two we will discuss them later but religion consists of the processes and the external stigmas which you perform to go close to god yes spirituality is what who you ultimately become at the end okay so people say that we will be spiritual without religious that is bogus it is not possible okay that does not mean that you have to be a hindu or a muslim but whichever practice you are doing that has to be from some religious text only these days people will say oh i have manufactured i am uh, into this spiritual practice oh if i ask them uh, can you uh, my dear sir can you please tell me what is your spiritual practice oh we are doing some kind of meditation but meditation is already there in the religious texts okay you will say okay we are practicing uh, giving charity giving to the society that daan is also there in the scriptures i am not talking of hinduism or islam it is these principles are universal from every religion okay so that is why ketu gets exalted in the sign of sagittarius because it wants to go into that deep absorption of spirituality and no god no. ketu is that outwardly planet you know not outwardly i would say yes outwardly and the other worldly planet so that is why ketu does fabulous in these signs okay so if you have ketu exalted in sagittarius or even in scorpio or in pisces these three are best signs for ketu to be placed beautiful ketu does it's fabulous mind blowing out of the world okay you know scorpio is that deep sign where ketu can go deep into the hidden mysteries he can go and uh find out what is there in this book that book and he can take lessons from the ups and downs which he has in this life okay which is very important and in pisces also ketu can get lost and especially in the sign of sagittarius it finds its highest exaltation and it is mind blowing in the sign of sagittarius there is no doubt about it the person is very spiritual it is like having ketu in the ninth house which is very good okay at least for spiritual pursuits may not be good for other things like father etc but at least for spirituality it is very good to have ketu in the 9th or 12th house or even in the 8th house for those reasons okay so that's it from my side before ending as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him maybe you will find him in the nature also <laughs> and if you have still not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know in the comment section and click in the notifications button so that you keep getting mails when i make these videos okay and if you have any friends or your family members you can share these videos and teach them about astrology and the different videos which i keep posting okay 
and if you want to reach me then you already have my phone number you can always message me in whatsapp okay until next time bye bye see you